Hi everyone, thanks for watching my YouTube content. I'm Sang Kim. In the previous video, I showed you how to do discrete choice analysis in R using Candidata from CS library. In this video, I would like to share how to estimate parameters for discrete choice model in Excel. Honestly, I don't think I'm fully aware of discrete choice model, so please, could, uh, there could be some errors in it. Please let me know if you have any advice to improve my contents related to discrete choice model. Alright, let me use same Choco Candy data for this video. As you can see, there are 10 respondents choice data. And in the previous video, uh, I showed you how to do discrete choice analysis by using multinomial logit function. I set inter uh, intercept as zero, then you can get this uh, parameter estimates. So I would like to uh, focus on how to calculate these estimates in this video. There are two reference size and we can uh, typically uh, calculate uh, parameter estimates by using uh, log, log likelihood function. This is a log likelihood function and we can use uh, probability of uh, choice set. And there is D and J uh, when uh, D and J equals 1, it means uh, J is selected, choice, uh, one uh, choice has been selected, and uh, D and J equals 0 uh, when uh, choice is not selected. All right. So uh, in order to get utility, let's set initial value at 0. And utility can be calculated by dark coefficients times dark attributes plus soft uh, coefficients times soft attributes plus nuts coefficients times nuts attributes. Then uh, exponential of utility can be calculated by exp function. Choice probability. So let's get uh, sum of uh, exponential utility first. We can use a sum if function. Range from uh, column A to x column A, comma, and criteria from subject uh, number, comma, and some range from uh, column H. Then choice probability uh, can be calculated by uh, exponential of utility over uh, if we look up subject number comma uh, subject total utility press L4 comma two comma first. Then uh, we can uh, calculate uh, log likelihood by using this formula. So once choice has been selected, we set it uh, as one. So if choice equals one, then we calculate log of choice probability. As you can see, once there is a uh, uh, choice has been selected, then the, we calculate log likelihood like this. Right. So if we actually minimize uh, the sum of log likelihood by using this formula minus two times sum of Log likelihood. Okay. And finally, uh, let's use solver. So go to data and solver. And set objective from this cell. 
we want to minimize by changing this parameters estimate. Right. So again, as you can see, these parameter estimates are same as our output. Okay, and this uh, predict value is same as choice probability. So again, uh, as you can see, this uh, choice probability for subject one is same as subject two and subject three, like this. Right. So uh, if you visit these two uh, reference sites, you can uh, uh, get more uh, information related to disk choice analysis. I hope it was useful for you to understand how to calculate uh, parameter estimates for discrete choice analysis. Please click like and subscribe if it was useful for you. Thank you.